As we come to the end of Lent, we can wonder if we've done enough to prepare for Easter. But as we enter into the holiest days of the year, don't let your Lenten regrets overcomplicate your Easter. Children see the world with a simplicity and wonder we sometimes forget as adults. And with this in mind, I was delighted to speak with the Year One children at St James Catholic Primary School in Glebe about their view of Easter. Good morning, my name is Enrica. I'm the principal of St James Catholic Primary School Glebe. And this morning we're really excited. The Archbishop is coming to visit us. It's the first time the Archbishop has been to St James Primary School in Glebe. And we particularly look forward to seeing him as there is a strong Dominican connection between the Archbishop and our parish, St James. The children are really excited. We've told them they um, we've got a very special visitor and they've been learning about Easter and the lead up to Easter through Lent and they look forward to sharing their ideas about what Easter is about and of course it's going to be through the eyes of young children, six-year-olds. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, children. Lovely to meet you all. Why do you think we have an egg? What lives inside an egg? A chicken. A chicken. And what happens when the chicken gets big enough? Because Jesus breaks out of his tomb, his egg. See? It's very good for us to keep learning things like that. It isn't means it? they live forever and ever and ever. It means you live forever and ever and ever. They're very intrigued by religion and, as I said, Jesus' life. So um, they've always got burning questions after we read Bible stories and things like that. They're always intrigued to know more and discuss and share their ideas. and their interpretations, I guess, of each of the Bible stories that we read, which is good. On Easter Sunday, Jesus came back to life. Isn't that wonderful news? Yes. Isn't that one? Because we love Jesus and Jesus loves us. And because it's a promise that we can come back to life too, if Jesus did. So that is wonderful news, isn't it? Let's have a look at our story and I'll just remind you our children remind us that the message of the Gospel is new in every age. I pray you experience the Easter story through the eyes and heart of a child, as if for the very first time. Like a chicken breaking out of an egg, be ready to leave behind your sins and anxieties, sorrows and regrets. May the risen Christ, who burst forth from the tomb, bring Easter hope and promise to you and your loved ones.